hello guys welcome to prof 1yt channel so on this video we are going to talk about the thermal conductivity of gases now when we talk about thermal conductivity of gases you know when you increase the temperature of a gas the molecules get excited therefore the kinetic energy increases leading to what increase in thermal what in thermal conductivity so with this um, tutorial we're going to learn how we can find the thermal conductivity of a mixture of gases that's when we talk about mixtures of gases now for me to continue with this question let's brief something now we have monoatomic gases polyatomic gases and what the mix so with the monoatomic gases when a question is given to you and it's a monoatomic gas what you need to do is that there's a formula that you are going to use which is k is equal to 1.9891 times 10 exponent negative 4 that is square root of the temperature over the molecular weight all over the collision integral times the energy parameter squared so that is for the monoatomic with the polyatomic or with the polyatoms or polyatomic gases this is the formula for finding the polyatomic gases right so this is the formula given to us that we use to find the poly that's the for you to find the thermal conductivity of a polyatomic gas so nitrogen is a polyatomic gas oxygen is a polyatomic gas now when, when we talk about air it contains two gases right so when you combine nitrogen and oxygen to form air it's form a polyatomic gas which is air now they say that the air is co what composed of nitrogen which is 72 percent with oxygen gas which is what 28 percent so we are supposed to uh, determine the thermal conductivity of the air that means the two which is the mixture at a temperature of what 500 kelvin now when they give you a uh, temperature and it is in degrees what you need to do is that you try to convert it to the word kelvin now this formula is what we use to find for the polyatomic bar where these are going to find for each that is you find for nitrogen gas and oxygen gas then you use the mixed formula so i'm going to explain the mixed formula so let's continue from this now so with the thermal conductivity this is viscosity is equal to what that is bracket open uh cp plus 1.25 times r all over the molecular weight so we have some relationship you need to know when we take cp cp is equal to 5 over 2 r that has a constant pressure that specific heat capacity is equal to what 5 over 2 times the uh, is it the idle gas constant right the gas constant right yeah so we will do substitution into this so and with R, R is 8.3144 Joule mole per Kelvin. So you need to know that that Joule per mole per Kelvin. So you do substitution and you do it. So let's try solving this. So this is one of the formula. Now finding the viscosity, for you to find the viscosity, we have the Chapman and Enskong. Now check the description of this video. I have done a video about how to find the viscosity of a gas. Check it and learn it because I'm not going to actually brief more on the viscosity when solving this. So with the viscosity, the formula for finding the viscosity is 2.67 times 10 exponent negative 5 times that's the square root of the molecular weight times the temperature all over the energy parameter square times the collision integral, right? Yes. So please, as I said, check the description of this video and go and check how we can find the viscosities of gas yeah so with this let's get going so now for us to find the what the viscosity and the thermal conductivity of nitrogen gas we're going to take them one by one what you need to do is that these are parameters given to us in a table form so actually you have a table that provides you with these values so you check the table and when you look at the table that's for nitrogen gas you see that it is this that's the energy parameter you know that the molecular weight of nitrogen gas is 28 0.02 gram per mole and one thing about this with the collision integral the main thing is about the collision integral you are going to use that is interpolation so as I said check the description of this video and check how you can find the collision integral and also how to find the 
viscosity of the gas because it's needed for us to solve for the thermal conductivity. So now, with this, when you check the video, you understand why we have this. We are going to divide. Normally in the table, they give you E over the Boltzmann constant, but we want the Boltzmann constant over E times temperature. So therefore, you convert it. So you are going to do this. You look on the table, you find the value of the collision integral from there. So you check the video and you know how you find the collision integral. So at the end, the collision integral becomes 0 0.91268. Check the video, you understand why we had that. So for us to find the viscosity, this is the molecular weight times the temperature and the energy parameter times the collision integral. We know this is 0 uh, 5.4, but with this, it varies, yes. Yes. Now, with, this is not the answer for the collision integral. You need to compare and use interpolation to find for the collision integral. So, as I said, check the description of this video for the link to watch on how you can find the collision integral and also find the viscosity of any gas. So, at the end, we know that we have our viscosity to be 2.55 times 10 exponent negative 4 P, right? For us. So, we have it like that. Then, we try doing substitution. Now, when you do substitution, you know that we have we now have the viscosity and we have this as 5 over 2 r, and we know r is a constant, so we just for we put inside, and when you do that correctly, we are going to get our thermal conductivity of nitrogen to be 5.41 times 10 exponent negative 3 watts per meter per Kelvin. So that is the thermal conductivity of nitrogen gas. Then you move on to the thermal conductivity of oxygen and the viscosity. So you're going to use the same procedure that we use to solve for it. You know that molecular weight of oxygen is, oxygen gas is 32. So we do that. And we also find the same thing, finding the viscosity and we using the formula, we have the vis, uh, that's the thermal conductivity of oxygen to be 6.3 times 10 as for negative 3 watts per meter per Kelvin. So now after getting this, now we want the thermal conductivity of air at 500 Kelvin. So we need to find something that is the mix. So what you do now is you are going to find the thermal conductivity of the mixture, right? Then what you do is, this is the formula, and I'm going to break down the formula for you. This is just a simple formula. So with this, that is, you are going to sum them. So if you are summing the thermal conductivity of each gases, the mo uh, mole fraction of the gas, and the molecular weight exponent negative uh, exponent three, right? So if the gases are three, you are going to use them individually, you multiply them by three. So you are going to find the um, thermal conductivity of that gas, multiply by the mole fraction of that gas, multiply by the molecular weight is 1 over 3 of that gas plus the next gas plus the next gas. That's the summation. All over, this is for the more fraction of it times the molecular weight exponent 1 over 3. So you're going to do them. Let me do them. As you can see here, right, we have how many gases here? We have two gases that we are finding there. We, we find the thermal conductivity. So what you do now is that you are going to sum them up. You see, this is summation. So we have the thermal conductivity of nitrogen the more fraction of nitrogen was given to us as 72 by 72 over 100, which is 0 0.72 times the molecular weight all over, and that is exponent 1 over 3. So we have expressed nitrogen. So this whole thing is for nitrogen gas. This whole thing is for nitrogen gas. Then you do the same thing for the number of gases. This is for oxygen. So you are going to do the same. So if it's like we have four or five gases, you are going to do them and sum them up. So we have the thermal or conductivity of oxygen gas, we have the mole fraction and the molecular weight exponent 1 over 3. All over with these two, we have for nitrogen, this is for nitrogen gas, we have the mole fraction, that's the mole fraction times the what? The molecular weight exponent 1 over 3 times, you do the same thing for oxygen. That is how we find the mix. So if it's like 10 gases, you do them individually and you sum them over that. And at the end, you know that the thermal conductivity of the mixture, you're going to get 0.04 watt per meter per Kelvin.
So this is how we find the thermal conductivity of gas mixtures. That's the mixtures of gases. Yes. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope you liked the video. Please kindly subscribe for more of this. Thank you.